Hey y'all, I'm going to do a quick video on these new neck tension gauges that we just released not too long ago. Um, so we have them from 224, you know, all the way up to 0.338. And the way they work is they're used to measure the, the case mouth, right? And they, they have five stages. So uh, this one is a 308. So so this one um, it goes from 307 and all you know in, in increments of one thousands all the way down, right? So and, and the, to use them is very pretty pretty simple, pretty straightforward. You just insert them, uh, you know. If and if it's on the first notch, that means you have you know one thousands, um, you know neck tension on the second one, two thou, three thou, four and five and so on. So you just insert it, and if it goes, you know if it Right, as you can see on this one, it's on 2000. So I set, you know, neck tension for 2000 on, on that one. Um, so it's pretty pretty straightforward and they're available now. But um, I wanted to quickly talk about, you know, why is it important, right? So um, here I have three different sets of 308 cases and they have all been sized um, using this, Reading 308 die um, and you know and they have all been also ex, you know put through an expander with two thousands of neck tension supposedly right so they have all, all gone through the same process and they they are all three to four times fired and in this in this scenario I want to go from this one to this one so these ones are um, these ones are Lake City. These, sorry, these ones are uh, Hornady. These are uh, Lake City. Uh, these ones are Hornady as well. These two are not annealed, and these two, uh, these the last set is annealed, right? So let's start with the um, the Hornady, right? So let's so here um, we you know we put it through the sizing die with no expander ball, expand it with a two thousandths. Um, neck tension expander um, and we put through it and again they are not annealed they just went through it so a lot of times we go through this process as you know and assuming that hey you know we put through this 2000s um, you know expander we're gonna get this is gonna have 2000 of neck tension but unfortunately that's not the case we I mean we measure you know the case length we measure the shoulder we measure all that I mean why aren't people or more people measuring their case mount to make sure that they're actually getting the results that they're supposed to get? Um, and obviously, that's another reason why we anneal, right? I mean, it's just another variable out of many others um, that we measure to produce the best ammo. That's why we, me you know, we take measurements, we do certain things to make sure that they have consistent results. And but this is one of those steps where a lot of people just miss. Um, so again, put it through the die, put it through the expander, supposed to be two thou, uh, four times fired, not annealed. And this one came up to be three thou. And it's mostly due to the, obviously it's been used for quite a while. There's spring back, right? And you see this one, this one is in, you know, two thou, this one is what, what it's supposed to be. Um, this one in there, this one is three thou. And again, these are Hornady, whereas I find inconsistency from um, different head stamps, right? This one is 3,000. So highly inconsistent. They're not 2,000. Only one, one out of the four um, were to spec right? And these are Lake Cities. And these are all 3,000. 2,000. 1,000. <laughs> Um, and just FYI, I never, I haven't checked them before doing this video and two thou. So this one is even more inconsistent, uh, four times, three, four times fire, not annealed. So this one is a little shinier because, uh, fully prepped. Uh, and by the way, they all have their case mouth chamfered and all that stuff. Um, so this one has been annealed, uh, same thing, three, four times fire. And as we can see now, you know, two thou. As what it's supposed to be, two thousand, two thousands, 
the thousands, right? So, you know, this is this is the perfect reason. You know, one is you need this to you know to determine, hey, you know, th is this just another variable that I need to fix? Is it my die? Is it my process? You know, is it my process? What is it? Am I getting the re results that I expect? Okay, so hopefully that helps. Uh, you know, you get a better understanding um, what the neck tension gauge, gauge actually does, right? So, um, you know, right now we have seven different sizes available, um, right? 277 through 38, 224, 308. Uh, these are the ones that, that's available. We may introduce more later. Uh, obviously, we need your feedback. If there are certain specific ones that you're looking for, uh, we, you know, and if there's enough demand, we will add to it. But so far, these are the ones that we're uh, getting asked about the most. Okay, so these are available uh, um, to purchase individually. Uh, you can buy just what you need, and they come just you know just like this, right? Um, you know, with you know, and they, they they're threaded. So, and then they, they'll fit any of your existing handles if you have one, but if not, uh, obviously you can purchase one on the website. Um, they, they come, they're so individually, but you can also buy them as a kit, right? As a kit, they come with a carry case, they come with handles, and they come with each one of these, um, you know, set that, that includes all, all the sizes. Uh, so again, guys, hopefully this helps. If you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out.